थैंक यू कविता जी फॉर द ब्यूटिफुल रेंडिशन ऑफ द भजन इट इज माय प्लेजर नाउ टू इनवाइट डॉक्टर कैलाश जोशी जी कैलाश जी इज द को फाउंडर एंड प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ एच सी आई एंड वन ऑफ द की फोर्सेस बिहाइंड दिस विजन एंड मिशन ऑफ यूनिवर्सल कम्युनिटी सर्विस founded on hindu tradition and wisdom his passion truly motivates us all to learn and serve the community kailash ji hello thank you thank you neeti ji and thank you for giving this lovely day a great start in the morning uh welcome all Uh, a very special welcome for today's graduates who have uh, put up with us for the whole year during the pandemic and went beyond the call of duty even start this new program for yoga and meditation for the community very proud uh, i also extend a very warm welcome to our special guests today uh dr david g frawley renowned vedic scholar and teacher honorable rokhana dynamic congressman from silicon valley professor rita sharma a pioneer in hindu and dharmic studies at gtu anil reverend anil bolares a global leader in spiritual care and head of the directorate of uh, global uh, spiritual uh, directors and uh, professor Kamal Abu Said the head of the very innovative new program and a co-founder actually of the chaplaincy program of which HCI has also become a part i'm so happy to to welcome you we are all going to hear from you later on and ladies and gentlemen i too will come back later and give you a kind of a close out speech right now i have to do an introduction uh we uh, we are celebrating today three things actually we are graduating our third course of uh, the the, the counselors of hindu tradition we are also i think in advance celebrating our fourth course which is going to be a bigger size and also be representative of at least five or six diaspora country scholars coming in so we're going to have a lot of more learning to do and hopefully we create a global network of karma yogis who can do community service around the globe on a very high standard and protocols to follow so we are very happy with that and more significantly i'm very happy to announce that we have now a pre chaplaincy course our course has been recognized by gtu the most eminent theological institution in the world at berkeley where our graduates can enter the chaplaincy program and for the first time you will see hindu chaplains at the hospitals at schools in the military at prisons wherever the human being need guidance and support in the hindu tradition in the diaspora that is something very new and we are very proud to be celebrating that as well sci was formed in 2018 we now have a group of about 200 volunteers that is about 60 faculty and faculty associates people who do the teaching world class expertise in all fields that you must have seen in the slides we have 50 plus uh, yoga and uh, wellness instructors who also participate in our programs and contribute and we have a uh, dial in services that are coming up uh, the people attend to people's requests on call and give them guidance on hindu tradition and quality of life matters so we have a huge coverage all the volunteers combined in the last uh, the 3 year we believe have put in something like 25 to 30000 hours and we count our value in what we call them om dollars equivalent value of the professional services rendered to an institution and that value comes out to be about 1 and a half to 2 million dollars uh, so that's something not uh, not small is very big and we call that those om dollars and they will all go into individual ledgers so i'm near and near end of the program today is to express gratitude uh which i have huge amount in me for all all that has been done at sci 
and CHT. So gratitude, I start with the graduates who really, the pandemic, but the extraordinary thing that happened is that we, we went way beyond by introducing the community for immunity program, 3000 classes every day. We are continuing those. Uh, brought in a, lot, a large army of trained uh, instructors, volunteers who, who give that give that every day. Uh, they're giving every day to the community. And so I thank them again. Uh, I thank all the visitors, all the special guests that we've already heard from. We're grateful to have them here. Uh, I like to next uh, thank the families and friends of the graduates who have joined today and other friends. And next, I want to thank my fellow board members. It's a, it's a, we, we carry multiple, we wear multiple hats of resident faculty and uh, board members and whatever it takes, uh, you know, and <laughs> janitorial jobs at times when we had a physical facility, for example, very proud, we're very connected. Um, I have one announcement to make today. Uh, one of our board members, Manglaji, who graduated actually from the first CST course, done a yeoman's job in, in these last three years and contributing significant ways to the development of HCI. Uh, for personal reasons, she will not be able to serve on the board uh, in, the, in this coming year, uh, but she will be continuing as a faculty member. And I know whenever we need help, we'll be calling upon her. So with a high degree of gratitude, I thank her for her great contributions as a scholar, as a board member, as a faculty member, as the architect of our the whole field manual procedures and processes. And we will always be grateful for her and always stay connected. So thank you, Manglaji. We have, uh, we have, uh, thank you. Uh, so now I'm gonna quickly touch upon, I, I think I have uh, thanked all the people. I'll quickly talk about what is gonna make the 21-22 a outstanding year for HCI. We have four basic objectives. Uh, first of all, that we want to solidify our model of continuum of care uh, and the, the GPU program and our, we call that pathway 108 program. For the first time, we want to have in the next five years, 108 Hindu chaplains serving in the United States. And hopefully it will go beyond the United States in the process. And so that is one commitment we have made to ourselves. We're going to enforce that this year. We're going to need a lot of funding uh, for that. We have an aim of raising one and a half million dollars as an educational fund to support many of the people who go to these programs, intuition and so on and so forth, and some of the operations. So I hope we can have a generous participation of the community in this uh, very major undertaking. But it is an ambitious program, but realistic program. Um, I just want to say that it is a realistic program, given our abilities, our resolve, and our, uh, our, all the resources our community commands. It's quite extraordinary. So that's our number one goal. Second one, we want to become a diaspora institution. So we want to embrace every other diaspora community and learn from them, their issues, their problems, and have a network of chaplains around the world who talk the same language, who use the same protocols and same authentic sources of the Bhagavad Gita's teachings. So there is no confusion in that regard. So that is our second objective is to, to have a global network started. Uh, so for that, we're gonna bring like five or six countries hopefully coming in together. And last but not the least, the service model that Mukunji articulated to you. It's very, very important to have a community be able, have a go-to resource from anywhere globally to be able to call, dial in for guidance, services in distress, and guidance in matter of celebration and sorrow and things of that nature. So those are gonna be our major objectives for this year. For the graduates, I say, please stay in touch with HCI you have three or four opportunities to continue engagement, sign up as a faculty associate and help us teach and manage the program coming forward. We're gonna need more FAs this year because the class size next year is gonna be almost hopefully double from this year and international. So that creates another level of demand on our time for correction of homework, grading and, and also guiding the 
the lesson plans. Uh, you can engage at, in our Ananda Core our volunteer service program, get onboarded on that, even though we are still developing that program. So it's like a, build the airplane and while you're flying in it, but you can contribute to that program very well. You can also sign up on your own at a hospital or any other institution in your neighborhoods and begin serving as a PhD. We have insurance coverages and so on nationwide covered so that we can have we get you onboarded, but you have to be officially informing us of your intent on that score. And for many of you who have the postgraduate degree, PhDs or, MS, or a MA degrees, uh, that is the requirement for the chaplaincy program along with the CST course. Please consider CST, the chaplaincy course as adjunct to your career during and maybe second career or post uh, retirement career, whatever way you adjust to it. But that opportunity is now open to you as a very special opportunity uh, open to you. And whatever you do, as I talked about before, keep earning those own dollars. That is your ledger. Keep building up the ledger. And I think you will find it very, very satisfying. Together, we're going to put uh, Hindu tradition to work and stay connected with each other. So I, that's the, the, that's my wrap up for, for the evening.